it's really big. Let me see the cover. Tomorrow is actually um, an event that I'm hosting at my church. And so I wanna see if I can make some centerpieces. And that is what I'm gonna be doing with the carrots that I picked today, as well as the asparagus I picked. I'm going to be, I'll show you what it looks like. I don't have any flowers in bloom at the moment. Um, and so I kind of looked up some um, spring or like farm rustic centerpieces and i got the idea of doing carrots um in a bowl with flowers i'll insert a picture of what that looks like and i don't have flowers in bloom and so i did have the carrots though so that is why i picked the carrots and i'll show you what everything looks like once i get everything into the basket or into a, a like the glass jar but i am gonna have to go to the store and pick up uh just some flowers that's my thought process, but while I'm out here, I'm also gonna pick some, what is it called? I'm gonna pick some rosemary, which I have right here. And then I'm also gonna pick some lavender and some more peppermint. I'm still debating, I found another asparagus. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to, uh, these are lavender, on whether or not I want to, what was the thought? Oh, buy flowers, or if I just want to keep this as just green and just have different, like this is rosemary and just have like, different cups with different herbs I don't know the sample I saw was so pretty I wish I had some zinnias sprouting right now so I just picked off one whole rosemary thing but I think when I get inside I'll break them off into individual pieces but right now i'm just adding them all into this container i'll keep these smaller ones i might use these for decoration but then the next thing i want to pick is right here this peppermint i have growing in these rose bushes if some of my roses were blooming if one of them is just starting to open right now so we have a couple up here that haven't started blooming yet but if they were in bloom i would use some of these but when they do open it's going to be so pretty because there's so many of them but down here i have all of this peppermint growing around and i'm going to use some of this because i think that would look really really pretty and i'm gonna pick some more carrots i know i picked a lot of earlier of the yellow but i think all of these are purple and then oh yeah i see one right there that's orange i think right here yeah So these are what I did with the smaller jars. I have an asparagus in there. This is peppermint. Um, I have carrot right here, rosemary, and lavender is back here. 
So you can see there's two carrots, there's a yellow carrot in there, and the orange. And we have five of these, five of these centerpieces. And so this is what I did with the big jar. All of the carrots are at the bottom. And I got all of these flowers from my local um, florist shop. My Bells of Ireland in the garden wasn't big enough, so I got some from them. And I got some carnations and daisies. And two lilies. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later from our event and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these carrots and get them out of this bed. I have some tomatoes, some more tomato <laughs> plants and um, I'm thinking about planting them in these beds because all of these beds go along a fence and so I'm thinking about planting some tomatoes in them so I wanna go ahead and remove the carrots. The carrots are ready to be harvested. I planted them I think in November or December I would have to look back and tell you but they're definitely all the ones that we've been pulling have been ready to pull um have been big enough is what i meant so even if i see some that's like really tiny i may leave those as long as they're not bumping up against the back side of the the fence so like um if there's any like all the way back there that's ready to harvest i definitely want to harvest them um we may go ahead and harvest the whole bag but like I see some like right there like that's really really tiny so I may leave that since it's not interfering where I want to plant tomatoes but for the most part I want to pull a uh, majority of the carrots because they're ready to harvest I didn't space these out um, you can start pulling yeah I can start pulling guys I didn't space these out now I'll come to this bed I didn't space these out so like whoop, whoop. this one so I didn't space these out, I just sprinkled all the seeds. And I was gonna say this one actually was starting to go to seed, even though the root wasn't that big. But I think what we're gonna do is harvest them, take the bottom parts and leave the, the greens or we'll food, feed the greens to our animals later, our goats probably. I don't yeah, maybe make a pot, pot right here. Put the carrot in there. Put the dirt in the soil. Okay. They're all purple. They are all purple. I got a long one. Yeah.
This is in that. You see how much how big Lawrence we and I This is gonna be So most of the orange bed is all taken out and I have some cherry tomatoes inside the hoop house that um, I'll get and plant there. These were the Danvers half long. This was, I think this was my first year growing the Danvers half long and you saw I washed them. But let me see, I think my biggest purple These are my biggest purple. And then I would definitely grow this orange carrot again. I would grow all of these carrots again. Most of the ones I picked today of the yellow weren't that outstanding because I had already picked the really big yellow ones for that bouquet. But all of these orange are really, really fat and nice. I think the biggest yellow one I picked today was not that big but i think these are i think all of these are gonna be really pretty so i wanted to say i don't think that i fully explained what i was saying about the carrots going to seed carrots are biannual which means that they don't flower the first year they flower the second year and since i think i had them in the ground so long some of them when I said that they were starting to go to seed, even though they didn't have like a big, I think it was like, maybe, I think it was like this one, actually it was this one. It was starting to go to seed, and so this one won't taste that good, um, but the middle was starting to get that really thick, if you can see it, stem right there, and that would have, if I would have left it, and I did leave some of them, um, that would have sprouted in the middle, and then that's where your carrot seeds would have came out from. And the reason why that happens is because it thinks it, it thinks that it's on its second year and so now it's time to produce seeds. This is just so pretty. Um, and so that is why that happens and that's what's happening with some, some of my... Mostly it's happening in the, not with the orange, it's with the purple and some of the yellow where the stems weren't, or the roots weren't that big, but then the tops were starting to go to, go to seed thinking that it was in its second year. This is so cool that this purple in the inside when you crack it is actually orange, if you can see that. Yeah. Instead of being purple. It's orange in the inside and actually even has a dot of yellow. <laughs> yeah. So it's purple on the outside, orange, and then yellow, which is really, really pretty. It tastes really, really good. Some of the ones that are going to see, if you taste them, they're going to be like really bitter. But I was thinking that I might chop some of these up, like each colors, and pickle them maybe or it just seems like it would be really pretty in a jar to have all the different color carrots so I don't know I have to think of something that can display the colors 
and I'm definitely gonna grow this again in the fall and in the winter overwintering them because it just gets so hot here in the summertime that it gets so hot here in the springtime so fast that I've never grown great springtime carrots like if I planted the seeds right now but planting the seeds in November or January whenever December whenever I planted them is amazing and like I said this is my first year growing the dambers have long usually I plant the longer skinnier orange carrots but they did the best out of would I say they did the best I think they they I would probably say hmm I don't know because I did get some pretty big yellow ones as well as some purple ones I just think these were the most uniform I would say so anyway I'm gonna bring this basket inside and continue on my garden gardening and maybe get this bed ready to plant some tomatoes in it and sit these carrots in some water so that they don't get like soft So I'll see you guys next time. Like that's not even nothing. Bye guys.